Principle number one of navigation. We need to avoid the myth of moral neutrality. So what is the problem with moral neutrality? So there is an incoherence in our modern times, okay? Because on the one hand, we have a group of people that say that everything is relative, there's no ultimate truth, there is nothing universal, and there isn't a meta-narrative or a one answer to everybody that is able to apply uh, in the most ultimate sense. But the same people who typically make these type of statements um, are the same people who overreact when you actually try to question this moral ideal of freedom and personal moral expression. So that means that the incoherent basically resides in saying that there is this space in which, you know, everybody fits, everybody's okay, doesn't matter your idea. But at the same time, that is not possible because if you have a conviction about life, which you actually need one to be able to live, because to live is to interpret your life in a qualitative manner, then it is not possible that everything goes, you know? For example, as I said before, the, the same people who say like, oh, everything is relative, there is no ultimate truth. They oppose, for example, female genital mutilation because it's wrong. Not, not everything from every culture is okay. There are some things that are wrong, even if cultures practice that. But basically, you can actually trace back this idea, this, so to speak, moral understanding in the modern era in classical liberalism, you know, starting in the 1600s, more or less, you know what I mean? There was a shift that happened at that time in history, which was basically characterized by a lot of people adopting what uh, the philosopher Charles Taylor calls procedimental ethics. So you might be wondering what procedimental ethics means. So basically procedimental ethics means the following. As long as we agree on the method, on the procedure to arrive at any conclusion, then everything goes, it's okay. You know, for example, democracy is a kind of uh, procedimental ethics because we are claiming that as long as there is a democratic process, as long as people have participated, given their vote, whatever conclusion we arrive at, then is legitimate. But it's funny because this, this apparent moral neutral position is actually not as neutral. Why? Because that person who is claiming that we ought not to, or that we shouldn't say something to this person or to intervene in people's freedom, is already speaking from a moral orientation that this person takes as truth. In other words, this person is already speaking from a moral position or inclination by defending that type of understanding of freedom and tolerance. So with that, you see clearly that it is impossible for us not to prioritize some sort of ideal that we actually take that as truth. So as you can see, when a person is trying to defend this type of ideal, which is really common nowadays, right? Like there's no ultimate truth, but, but how evil you are if you are intolerant with the way I want to live my life. But that in itself is already a moral position in which you are defending this ideal this ideal of moral freedom in some aspects of people's lives, but in other aspects of human life, this person has a strong opinion. For example, the liberation of women, patriarchy, uh, and things like that, just to name a few. So basically that means that we are not able to actually be in a vacuum and not hold any moral positioning. That is a lie. We might not be aware of it or be able to articulate very well what we think, but this idea of defending this moral freedom and personal moral expression in, in our lives is already a moral orientation, a moral ideal that we take as truth. So this is similar, for example, when somebody says that everything is relativistic, you know, like there is no ultimate truth. The funny part is that this is a self-defeating type of philosophy because by you claiming that everything is relative, you are telling me that your claim about life being completely relative and not having a means to achieve ultimate truth, you by making that statement, you are stating an ultimate truth about reality. So the golden rule is that there is no golden rule. So 
No, you don't get to do that because this is a self-defeating type of uh, claim about the world. So basically we need to avoid this type of moral neutrality. We will position ourselves, but the idea is that we should be able to position, to position ourselves uh, by embodying an educated spirit in a charitable attitude with the otherness, with other people who does not think like us. And that's why I do believe that the highest form of tolerance is actually the dialogue with the person you completely disagree with because that is the true otherness that is the true foreigner that is the true person that is not you that is the radical otherness that is hard to love all right so i hope that's clear about the principle of navigation number one so we will position ourselves with an educated spirit and a charitable attitude